Hello, hola, hola. Ok, so para la lección de hoy, uh, capítulo 5. Uh, oh, wait, so this is not the Spanish language uh, show. Uh, my bad, I'm sorry. Ok, so, uh, excuse me. Uh, so, welcome everyone, thank you for being here. Uh, we have a lot of wonderful people in this panel. And I'm going to start by introducing the organizers, uh, in case you didn't know them already. Those three wonderful folks over there are uh, the organizers of this event. And we have the formal verification lead and compiler engineer at uh, the Ethereum Foundation with over 2,000 Twitter followers and over 1,000 GitHub contributions in the last year, Leonardo, aka Leo Alt. Big round of applause. Next one, we have Team Ypsilon Lead and Solidity Language X Co Lead at the Ethereum Foundation. Coffee Addict and EVM Nerd, Alex, aka Axic, in that side over here. And last but not least, <laughs> it's lag, it's lag. And last but not least, um, Harry, aka Harry. <laughs> so I do need your password again, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, and now that we have introduced the organizers, let's introduce our wonderful participants. So, from Faye, we have Mr. Grant. Grant is a developer at the EF focused on design and implementation of Lang. Before Faye, he mostly contributed to Consensus clients. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Yoshi, Yoshimoto is a developer at the Ethereum Foundation working on Lang, and Sonatina Compiler Backend. From Huff, we have Joshua. Joshua, aka JT, former Superfluid Solidity engineer, mobile app developer, and Huff contributor. Thank you for being here, sir. From Viper, we have Bryant. Wow. Bryant is the CEO of AporkX, a Python DevTools startup, and a contributor to the Viper compiler. He has also contributed on several EIPs and core Python libraries in the ecosystem. From the ATK language, we have Ansgar, is a researcher at the Ethereum Foundation, previously at Consensus Quilt. He has worked on protocol improvements, including EIPs 3034, 4488, and 4844. Thank you for your service. I'm amazed I pronounced that right. Now, from the Solidity team, we have Camille, is one of the core developers at the Solidity team at the Ethereum Foundation. He's also a co-founder of Code Poets, a Polish software house specializing in chemi informatics and blockchain. In the past, he worked on a variety of software projects in multiple languages, ranging from video editor in C++ to Python web development to DevOps and infrastructure. His blockchain experience started with a project in cooperation with Golem. He's currently focused on the Solidity language and compiler. Wow. Thank you, Camille. And Daniel. Mr. Daniel has been with the Solidity team for the past 4.5 years. He's passionate about talking Solidity, taking Solidity to the next level with generics, and he will be taking over the language technical lead role at the Solidity team. Wow. Thank you, everyone, for being here. It is everybody's pleasure, and thank you all for being here as well. So, we are coming with a pop quiz. There are no drinks, but maybe later there will be. So, uh, let's start with some historical questions. Mr. Leo, would you mind uh, showing them on the... <laughs> you can see that all this is improvised. <laughs> One for you. Oh. Just in time development, you know how this works. So we are going to go through a couple of questions to make this fun in order to see which language is the best one. Uh, please do not kill each other. Like, we really appreciate your work and a bloodbath here is not, uh, wouldn't be actually quite fun. So, and don't cheat. Absolutely not. I, 
we will verify. We have a formal verification lead here. And Harry is going to be taking over that role today. He will be standing up and checking that your answers are actually correct. And if they are correct, then you will score a point. And there may be or may not be a praise at the end. I cannot confirm nor deny. So let's go with history language. OK, are you ready? Listen to me. So who was the original creator of each language? So for Viper, Huff, Fay, Solidity, and ETK. And you have 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five, four. Eh, pens up, pens up, pens up, pens up. Pens down or pens up. Thank you. Okay, so should I say their answers? Okay, so for. Okay, say that loud. Yes. Favorite was David Sanders. <laughs> Mr. Harry, you confirm? What did you write for For Viper. Oh, you're asking me. Oh, for Viper. You meant Viper, sorry. I just put brand, you know, just optimistically. <laughs> Okay, uh, what about you? Faye? No idea. Did you write it down? I put David, but I forgot his last name. Ah, uh, shall we give him like half a point maybe? I'm just what? trying to. I put David, but I forgot his last name. And then he left. Okay, so what did you what did you write for uh, half? Yeah. Okay, so no point. What did you write for solidity? No, just go with one by one. Solidity. Wow. What about for ETK? <laughs> Doxed. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he gets the points as well, right? Okay, what did you write for for Viper? Okay, hit first. Yeah, Vitalik. Point. So go through your list again. <laughs> Just go through the list again. Okay, next one. On the list. Solidity, no idea. Viper, Vitalik, Huff, Zach Williamson, ETK, no idea. T, no idea. You, sir. Uh, Viper is Vitalik, Solidity is Gap and Wood, I believe, and Faye is David. Sanders. But I only wrote David. Okay. Give me the mic. Give me the mic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, Let's go down the list. Oh. They are the dictators of this game. They get to decide. <laughs> and the battle begins. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, uh, yeah, I put uh, Solidity, Chris Reitmiesner, uh, Viper, Vitalik, ETK, Matt Garnett, Sam Wilson, um, P, I put Grant, but apparently that was wrong, and uh, Huff, I had no idea. And Solidity? Okay, so for Solidity, we put Gavin and Chris, uh, for Faye, Grant, and we run, we run out of time for others. <laughs> All right. 
So, sh I knew it would end there. oh well, the answers if the public is uh, wondering about the answer. So, Viper is Vitalik, for Huff is Zach, for Faye is David Sanders, for Solidity Chris and Gav, and ETK Sam Matt Dogs again. That's fine. Let's go to the next question in regards to the parity hack. Okay, so there's oh, that's a great question. <laughs> so there's gonna be five. Um, okay, so let's give you one minute for you this one. Okay, so there's gonna be five questions here. So for the parity hack, number one. What was the GitHub issued title of the parity hack by DevOps 199? The second question is, what was the text in the first comment? The third one, what year was it? The fourth one, was it Solidity's fault? <laughs> and the fifth one is, what Viper feature proposal was motivated by it? You have one minute. <laughs> what? Processing. <laughs> how are you gonna how are you gonna answer that? <laughs> okay, this is gonna be good. The last one is what Viper feature proposal was motivated by it? We have 25 seconds. You have 15 seconds to open your Google browser and find the answers online. That's an option. No. <laughs> Okay, so let's go one by one. And let's start from the other side this time. Okay, so what was the GitHub issue title of the parity hack by DevOps? No idea. <laughs> okay, what was the text in the first comment? Camille said, I killed it, is probably what it was. Sounds like that. No. I accidentally killed it. I accidentally killed it. Yeah? Okay. What year was it? 2017. Correct. Was it Solidity's fault? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What Viper feature proposal was motivated by it? No idea. Okay. So, sir, let's go with you. Hey, yeah. Um, Okay, so uh, I couldn't remember the title either. I had something like anyone can, I don't know, something, something. Anyone can, yeah, but I forgot the rest. I don't know. Can give me half a point if you want to. Uh, and then I, I put down, I think I killed it, but apparently it was I accidentally killed it. I don't know. Uh, 2017, I guessed as well. Of course, not Solidity's fault. I mean, you know, given the judges here, what else can you say? Um, and uh, no idea about the Viper feature. Let's go with you, sir. Well, I forgot the title of the issue. Uh, I accidentally killed it. 2017. And... Was it Solidity's fault? I have to think about that. <laughs> nah, I guess not. Not this time. And I forgot the feature proposal I probably made. <laughs> cool. Uh, what was the GitHub issue title? No idea. The text in the first comment? No idea. What year was it? No idea. Was it Solidity's fault? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what Viper feature proposal was motivated by? No idea. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> that was awesome. That was <laughs> Title? Uh, so I guessed we got hacked. It was a joke. Uh, text in the first uh, comment? Shit, dot, dot, dot. What? <laughs> What, what? 
<laughs> what year was it? Uh, 2017. Was it Solidity's fault? No. What Viper feature proposal was it? Uh, Reentrancy protection, but no. Mm. Okay, so uh, I guess the points have already been assigned. Uh, let me go through the answers for the public and the audience at home. Does anyone know what the title of the issue is? Anybody contributed to our draft? Oh, that's right. It's a free Come here, play with us, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the first answer to your question. What was, what was the text in the first comment? Does anyone know? Yes, sir. What year was it? Who knows that? That was easy. Was it Solidity's fault? <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny at this point. <laughs> what Viper feature proposal was motivated by it? Uh, yeah, as Alex said, it was a cloning factory. All righty, are we ready to go to the next section regarding Ethereum EVM knowledge? Yes? All righty, so here's the first question for which you will have uh, 30 seconds, which is, what is the cheapest EVM opcode? Just name one. You can name more. Name as many as you can. What is the cheapest EVM opcode? Five seconds. Ah, oh, this one is awful. Okay, sir, let's start with you. Minus one point. <laughs> okay. Zero points. Ah, <laughs> this is a dictatorship, sorry. <laughs> Sir. I put, uh, oh, uh, I put soup one. No. Damn. Uh, we put down code size at two gas, but after the fact, we think it was like jump desk at one. No. 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 Is that, is it? Okay, who here knows the right answer? Sir. There's two points for you, sir. Good job. Give this man a beer. And there is one more. There is one more. It's revert, apparently. Okay, shall we go to the next EVM question? 30 seconds. Which Upcode was motivated by the DAO hack. 30 seconds. Which upcode was motivated by the DAO hack? <laughs> you got seven seconds. Go for it. Three, two, one. Okay, so let's start from here. Which opcode was motivated by the DAO hack? That's correct. He had no idea, but that's correct. <laughs> All right. Okay, next. It's okay, people get lost usually. No. Okay, let's. Okay, next question. Are you ready? Can you emit logs in a static call? Could be like five seconds, right? Yeah. 
I'm giving you 30. If the public wants to answer, then please go ahead. You will gain nothing, but you will get knowledge. You can write it down, actually. Yeah, you can just, if you have a phone or something, just like play along. <laughs> well, this is just too easy. I'm not even going to bother stopping this all. OK, so shall we start asking? OK, so what about the public? Can you emit logs in a static call? No, <laughs> that's right, that's right. OK, next one. All right, so which opcode returns to stack items? Which opcode returns to stack items? So you have 10 seconds. The audience also, if you, if you know it, then like write it down. So yes, that's the spirit. <laughs> OK. Perfect. All right, so shall we start with that side? OK, so which opcode returns two stack items? Yeah, we should really know, but I don't right now. <laughs> no point? So, None is like the answer or none like you don't know? The okay. Which great question? Uh, I didn't, I, it's just too fast. I don't have any time to think about this. <laughs> so it's actually none. It is. OK, yeah. OK. What was it? Genius. <laughs> Next one. OK, so. Which opcode reverts on out of bounds access? Let's do 30 seconds. And I'm asking you two this time. Which opcode reverts on out of bounds access? Okay, so Faye, let's start with you. Uh, call data copy. That's oh no, that's not that's correct. Obviously, <laughs> the. No. I remember the too late. It's return data copy, I think. But I'm not sure. Well, that's true, though. We had return data copy. We actually got something in the optimizer wrong about that once. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I cannot ask you anymore because I already know the answer, so it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> OK, next category, language-specific questions. Wow, someone has a follower here. OK, so the first question is, what is the latest release of Viper, Solidity, Faye, Half, and ETK. Let's do 35 seconds. Five seconds. One. 
Okay, which way shall we start? Alex, you tell the time. Okay, so for Viper? No idea. <laughs> okay, for Solidity? Uh, 0.8.17. For Fay, Oh, something. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not wrong. For half? Oh, something. <laughs> for ETK? Oh, something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all I know. <laughs> Good, yeah. sir. I have zero points. Uh, Viper? Nothing. Solidity? 0 0.8.10 point is what I guessed, but apparently we have far beyond that. Fay, No idea. Half? No idea. ETK? No idea. <laughs> Slum. <laughs> I put down 1.0 just in case, you know. Oof, that was close though. Sir, Viper? Viper 0.37. Solidity? I wrote 0.813, but that's wrong. Faye? No idea. I think it's a beta. <laughs> Half? Alpha, <laughs> <laughs> Alpha actually. Por favor, hablad cerca de los micrófonos. Not applicable? Is that a valid answer? No. No. <laughs> and ETK? Oh, no. Oh, sorry, okay. Yeah, so, I said ETK and then half my data. Okay. Great, now you can hear me biff it on the recording. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Viper 0.3.4, Solidity 0.8.18, Huff 0.1.0, ETK, no idea, Fee, no idea. Which one? Yeah, Viper. Oh, three, four? Yeah. Viper is not there. Okay. No. Did you guys not look this up? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure the Solidity docs points to 0.8.18 now. No, it's not really there. We'll look that up. I'm going to check that. You got drugged. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, fee might be uh, 0 0.18.0, um, Solidity 0 0.8. something, and I didn't know any of the other ones. <laughs> I like his honesty. No. Okay, so let's give you all the answers. So Viper 0.3.7, Solidity 0.8.17, Fey 0.19.1, Half only Night Lies, <laughs> ETK 0.2.1. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so next question. What language was Serpent written in? And Viper? And Viper? How do you pronounce those? Viper is an I, Viper is a Y. Yes, so those are three questions. 35 seconds, folks. What language was Serpent written in? And Viper and Viper. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I might be the only person to understand what, why there's been there twice. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Always good. okay, are you ready? So, uh, let's start with you folks. So, Serpent, what language was it written with? Mike. Oh, oh, yeah, the mic. Is this working? Yeah. yeah it's Let's say Python. Okay, and Viper? Python. And Viper? We said Rust, but I well, suspect <laughs> it might be Python. <laughs> so what's your final answer? I'd say Python. Okay, for you, sir. So uh, For the three, like I, I put down Python, Python, C. So which, which one is which? Well, uh, Serpent, Python, Viper, Python, Viper with an Y, C. I don't know. Not bad. <laughs> Sir? Uh, Surfer was written in C++. Uh, Viper with a Y is written in Python. And Viper with an I from the ECFF, uh, whatever. It's a formal verification tool is written in C++. So Did you forget about that? No, technically you're right. <laughs> Did you forget about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why we had to change the name from Viper with an I to Viper with a Y, because... 
But they're not, though. <laughs> <laughs> Technically correct is the best kind of correct. <laughs> Can someone verify this? <laughs> Can you give me like five or ten points for this? Yes. Okay, uh, <laughs> sir. Serpent? Uh, I said Python three times. Well, that's two out of three, so. And you folks? Uh, Serpent, Python, Viper with a Y, Python, and Viper with an I, C++. Even two points, you're one point. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was pretty curious, actually. Hell. Okay, so uh, are you ready for the next question? So... What language is half written in? 35 seconds. What? Yeah, there's like multiple answers and you get many points. <laughs> Just write down all the programming languages they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have five seconds. You know that half was written in half? <laughs> okay, so let's start with you folks. Rust. Okay, so that's the only answer you had? Well, yeah, there was a, another language. I think it was, uh, was it originally implemented in C++? I don't know. But now it's implemented in Rust, so. Rust is correct. <coughs> Currently Alrighty. maintained. Would you, would you pass the mic? Oh, yeah, sorry. All right, so original Huff, no idea. Uh, slightly modern Huff, TypeScript, modern, modern Huff, Rust. That's two points for you, sir. Yeah, you can thank Jet Data for that one. <laughs> TypeScript. Uh, I wrote Haskell, which is wow. definitely wrong. <laughs> is Charles Hoskinson wrong. in this room? You don't get to talk about TypeScript, okay? <laughs> that's it? That's, it. <laughs> that's a solid answer, okay? Yeah, my main guess was Rust, and then I, I was just throwing in C++, but apparently that's wrong, so Rust. That's one point, but then none. So we wrote Rust. All right, so, well, the correct answer was also, does anyone know, actually? There is three answers. So Rust is one, TypeScript is another, there's a third one. Hands up. No, no, I don't hear an answer. JavaScript, can we give him a point? Okay, I tried, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, shall we go to the next question? Mr. Leo. Okay, are we ready? What was Fay originally called? 35 seconds. Five more seconds. All right, so. Yeah, we had it earlier, but I don't remember exactly what is Rust something. He put down Rust Viper, but. That's correct. correct. Yeah. Wow. Oh. I was nice uh, unconvinced. <laughs> Respect. No, I did not put down Rust Viper. I just, you know, I put down fee with two E's because that always confuses me, but, you know. Uh, the correct answer is Rust Viper because it was originally supposed to be a Rust implementation of Viper compiler, even though it didn't follow semantics at all. <laughs> wow, that's like two points. Uh, not Rust Viper. Rust Viper. Well, Harry's not very fine the answers anyway, so... <laughs> All right, are you ready for the next one? 
which Solidity version introduced named function arguments. You have one hour to answer this question. <laughs> if someone knows, just stand up and scream it out loud. Which Solidity version introduced named function arguments? It's obvious. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Whenever you get it wrong, you can ask for it. Yeah, let's do that. One, 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 one. Okay, <laughs> we got two, one, and time's up. Okay, let's start from that side. One, four, zero. Okay, the audience, any answer? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I said 040. Oh, let's not avoid a conflict. Do you want to change your answer? Oh. Okay. Just write it down. Don't forget. I gave a little bit of a benefit of a doubt, and I said 0, 1, 2. A little bit. I'm surprised the answer isn't immediately. No answer changes, right? Okay. Uh, I put down zero four zero. You good? Okay, it was long before my time, but it was there for ages. So I said like oh point one point oh. But okay, so just, I guess. we said. Uh, should I say no? You say this, Alex. So it could have been in <laughs> So I get a half a point, right? I guess something before that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know this Oprah Winfrey meme? You get a point. You get a point. <laughs> okay, so ready for the next question. Which precompiles do not have a built-in in Solidity? 30 seconds. There's multiple alpha leak. Which precompiles do not have a built-in in Solidity? Multiple answers are allowed. <coughs> so, uh, let's start here. Yeah, we had identity. That's the only one that I was sure. Uh, then some hash thingy with B. <laughs> but <laughs> Blake something, yeah, that's a, that's. Does it ever feel compile these days? I don't know, but that's the only ones we have. Okay, that's one point, right? <laughs> wow, Viper going hard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, I pretty similar answers. I'd like the identity one, and then this hash thingy, but I didn't even know that like it began with a B, so I put an R. So do with that what you want. Maybe we should just rename it to the hash thingy precompiled. <laughs> uh, I said identity and Blake 2. Identity and SHA-256. No idea. <laughs> okay, does the audience know? There's more. So again? No. Well, for the sake of time, it's going to be identity, ecat, ecmul, ecpairing, and Blake 2. 
Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so two questions here. When was Yule introduced and what was it originally called? And you can get bonus points because Alex says so. <laughs> okay, you have five seconds. When was Yule introduced and what was it originally called? Okay, uh, shall we start with you, sir? Uh, 2018, um, and something that started with a J. Was it a bird or a year? Uh, year. It's a year. Okay, pass the mic. No, no, no points. I'm sorry. Uh, no idea when, but it was originally called Julia. Oh, yeah, Julia. Yeah. I wrote 0426, which was released in 2018, so that's kind of right. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea about the name. I put down 2017. That's a point for him. Was it? it says 2017 here, but you're the master. No, I don't know. So, yeah, Yulia, we also had. I think we also na only named it Yule in 2018, but introduced it maybe as Yulia earlier. But. Not sure. You got. Yeah, let's do two. Why not? I'm zero point five for him. <laughs> Is everyone happy? Yes? <laughs> Let's continue then. Next question. What version introduced metadata support or metadata, depending on how you pronounce it, for Solidity and also uh, Viper? Wait, what? So what version introduced metadata support in Solidity and in Viper? Two questions, in Solidity and in Viber. Done. You should know. I don't. <laughs> it's going to take a while for us. Oh, actually, I do. Two seconds. Do you actually have to answer? No. <laughs> so <laughs> we are discovering a lot of new things here we are learning together isn't that fun uh, so yeah why would we guess 034 uh, for solidity it was before our time and we guessed 036 well, that's a fun Pop quiz with the only questions and no answers, but uh, <laughs> I put down Solidity 0 0.30, um, Viper, I don't know, 0 0.20. Plausible, you know? Sure. Uh, the Solidity team actually got the Viper one right, 0 0.34, and then I wrote 0 0.412 for Solidity. Probably have to look that one up then. No idea. Straightforward. No idea. I also have no idea. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Just one point for everyone. <laughs> okay, uh, we're almost done. Next question. What version allows disabling the metadata in Solidity and in Viper? <laughs> so... For Solidity and for Viper, which version allows disabling the metadata? Sure. Uh, 
Sure. For Solidity and for Viper. Okay. Everyone seems so confident. I'm just going to. Oh, hands up. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know any of these version questions. Okay. No idea. <laughs> for Solidity, I put 0811, because why not? And Viper, I put 037. That's one point. Wow. Yeah, Viper, I put uh, 0 0.34, and then Solidity, I put z uh, 070. Uh, can I put some mic? Okay, for, for Viper, we said 036. And for Solidity... Four, four is it? Four. <laughs> okay, 034. And for Solidity, actually, we measured the PR like last week, so it will be 0818. <laughs> well, that's one point. Okay. The last question of the pub quiz. If you win this, you win, the sh you win everything. Okay. Or not. Okay, so... If you name them correctly, all of them. So even the audience, if you name it, then you win as well. So name one forgotten EVM language. There's multiple, apparently. Name one or a couple. Or name all of them. Five seconds. Five seconds. Time flies. Okay, so shall we start with you? I just wrote Surfran. Only that? Uh, there was like three others I remembered, but vaguely. Can you just like remember? <laughs> <laughs> one of them. One of them was. Uh, that guy that used to work on formal verification for the EF before he left in protest, right? Hmm. Um, yeah. What was it called? Okay, so pass the mic. Yeah. Uh, serpent. Uh, we put uh, serpent and uh, Solang. So okay, uh, sir. Yeah, I didn't 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 think serpent counted as as I uh, forgot. I put down move, you know, because why not? <laughs> I, th I think they compiles to EVM, right? Okay, so we have LLL and nib. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, the audience. What's your pl oh, wow. <laughs> Hi. Uh, well, the answers apparently are like Mutan, LLL, and Bamboo. Have you heard of those? Okay. Well, congratulations, everyone, for this amazing uh, display of knowledge that we got here. <laughs> Now we have a, should I introduce the, uh, yeah, the, the question audience, right? But, okay, so uh, let's introduce the question for the audience. Okay, this is for you, and you will have to scream and shout and jump, or not, I don't know. Okay, so, what is the best Solidity version? 0 0.9, 0 0.813. <laughs> Why? Argument your, argument your, what's your thesis? The correct answer is it's a trick question, so. <laughs> Someone would have said it. <laughs> okay, okay. And what, what feature would you remove? We too. 
<laughs> okay. And well, um, we are um, out of time. Okay, we have 10 minutes for, you wanna do this? Are you sure? Sorry? Okay, so you are going to be, you have not only seen a massive display of brain power, but you will also see a display of strength. Okay, so Harry, would you mind, would you do, would you do the honors? Do you know what a talk war is? And because uh, there is like too many solidity people, so I don't know. You're one of them. Okay, so yes. Would you like that? Yes. He likes that. And he took my sock. I want that sock back. Okay, so how do you want to put this? We need some people on one side, and we need people on the other side. That's so like five and five. okay, so you want to do one? solidity people. You also count. Do you do, do, do you think the organizers should also do like participate in this, right? Take positions. It's <laughs> symbolic. I'm sure you're gonna take it symbolically. Does anyone have like rock music or like something solid to play in the background? Well, until one loses. Of course. So one, two, three, four, five. Is is anyone recording? Oh yeah, there. Yeah, we need the sock a bit more in the middle. Okay, so you see, you see, you see this. If you put it a bit here in the in the in the, in the middle. Nah, that's it. Okay, at the count of zero, three, two, one, go! The Solidity team is becoming strong. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for tuning in in this language showdown. Thank you all for your time.